Hello, hello everybody, that's me, I'm back and first of all I would like to uh, thank you very much for having watched my previous video and for having left some beautiful comments uh, about the content but also about my English because uh, as I uh, told you it's a little bit my issue so thank you very much for all the uh, encouragement and all the likes and I hope uh, you will like uh, this video as well as the previous one so let's jump into this so what I have today for you it's actually I decided to start a new uh, series or actually a new playlist uh, tips and tricks and this will be different uh, tips and tricks for journaling, uh, planning, planners, journals, mixed media, all these uh, things that uh, have to do with creativity and paper. So, what I have today is... Ta -da -da -da! Hello! Say hello to my not new... <laughs> to my not new Hobonichi, as you can see it's uh, edition uh, 2019 so it's for this year and actually it's uh, also it's a Hobonichi Weeks which is this kind of a slim slim uh, planner it's a fabric okay can you can you hear it yeah and it's a mega so it has all these uh, note pages Okay, so until now, nothing new, nothing surprising, right? A classic Hobonichi Wix. But really? Do you have the same Hobonichi Wix? Do you have the same color? The same brown as I do? Hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, you couldn't have the same one until you painted it the same way as I did. And here is the whole story. When my Hobonichi Weeks came, it was pink and I wanted to use it as my planner. I was very happy how small it was in comparison to my previous Kiki K planner. I got him a beautiful cover on cover and he became a part of my planner journal family. I started to plan and to track different things for every week. At the beginning I was very happy about it, but then I realized that simply this size and layout wasn't working for me. Well, I stopped using my Hobonichi weeks for planning and for several months it was just laying on my shelf. In early September this year I decided to go back to my Hobonichi weeks but uh, to use it as a journal, not as a planner. But as I didn't like pink uh, as a color for my journal, I decided to try to change it. And I actually decided to do something to my cover. So I was thinking about these uh, uh, Letter It archival inks or any other kind of archival ink that won't smear, smudge or... And I had these four colors and I liked the most this one. So I chose this color of ink and then what I did, I just took one of these dabbers I think it was actually this one and I simply remember this was pink at the beginning and I simply oops dab this like this and went over by circling motions tapping independent because I wanted a little bit of also of of texture I will show you I'll, like if I do this okay first it was a little bit darker at the beginning because it's like fresh wet ink but then it will it will get uh, like lighter as it's uh, getting uh, dry okay so this one so like you can see I think 
I can catch it. Uh, uh, so there are some spots that are darker, lighter, and I wanted to create a kind of texture, a little bit uh, like if it was a kind of uh, leather. And also I tried to respect the, the shape uh, of the planner and I tried to make darker these uh, spaces where it's like a bandit, where it's like oh, on the spine, like to imitate kind of it's it's used already and uh, I tried to m make it look a little bit older. So this is the result and of course I can show you because I think you might have some doubts. Okay, she shows us something, but we didn't. Uh, uh, she she uh, doesn't uh, show us the process. Yes, process. Actually, I wasn't thinking about the video when I was doing this, but I will show you. Okay, I I don't want to show you the interior, but actually uh, here you you will. I hope you can see. Can you see the pink inside? So I wanted to show that really, really this one was pink at the beginning and of course this is very hard because it's like inside the spine so I couldn't go there with the double. Maybe with something like um, smaller, tinier I could go uh, into there but honestly it doesn't bother me and it's the same thing of course at the bottom. Can you see it? So when you open it, so you have this edge in here. So I also wanted, of course, to color, to change the color of this uh, uh, edge. So I went over like uh, this, of course. And so this is why you can see uh, the ink also on this uh, uh, page. But honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. If it bothered me, I could either take some piece of uh, scrapbook paper or something like this and cover it like nicely so it will be the same as here or I could simply, I will show it, it is the same thing at the back, I can just take these two pages and stick them together. This is my uh, I, <laughs> this is the last page where I always uh, uh, try to uh, try different pens and uh, pencils and markers uh, so uh, to see uh, whether they bleed or not. But uh, what I'm trying to show you is that you can, if you don't like this, which I understand totally, you can just uh, stick these two pages together and you will have a clean, neat uh, finish. Uh, uh, on it, but uh, maybe I will mm, do it one day. But mm, for now, it's okay. I'm happy with it. And of course, as it is an archival ink, so it won't uh, like uh, go off. If I do like this, the ink doesn't. One, it's dry, of course. Uh, ink stays really in uh, inside, like the structure of the cover, and nothing uh, goes. Uh, on my hands or anything so it's really even when you use a clear cover on cover there will be no no damage no issues but of course you need to let it dry for two days I mean it's dry to the touch it's drier even I mean it's dry even earlier but of course to be sure that it's really really dry even like inside the cover because of course it's it goes so it's ink so it goes it's a dye ink so it goes inside so to be really sure that uh, the color won't go off and won't like uh, uh, damage your cover on cover uh, you prefer to leave it for two days like uh, on the air like just uh, like this yeah so this is one last look at uh, this spot you may <laughs> of course it will it will disappear because now it's still uh, of course it's already dry to touch but it's still not as dry as uh, the other layers so I have no problem I mean uh, you just need to be patient right I just showed you that really uh, I'm not damaging it but I, uh, I could really show you uh, how I was um, uh, making it uh, what was the process and of course this spot will will uh, disappear will like 
become a part of, of the whole. So uh, one last thing, I would like to show you how uh, my new <laughs> uh, ink painted uh, Hobonichi Wix looks uh, with a clear cover on cover because the clear cover on cover that I had even for my like pink um, Hobonichi like the pink cover was this one but it's uh, you know it's uh, the shop where uh, uh, they sell like bread and the donuts and the croissant and all these things it's written in French so uh, au bon pain doré uh, and I like it very much but of course with the pink it I, I wasn't like happy with like pink uh, uh, <laughs> combination because you know color of bread and it's more like yellow sand uh, brown light brown so I'm much happier with this uh, combination of brown color and like uh, the topic of uh, bread and donuts and all these uh, things okay so this is it thank you very much uh, for your time. I hope uh, you find it uh, uh, useful or at least like <laughs> interesting interesting to know because for example uh, when you decide to have uh, Hobonichi Weeks or Weeks Mega uh, and you don't find any color you would like so uh, actually you can you know now that you can both um, like almost whatever uh, color and you can change uh, change it uh, later uh, by yourself but one important thing of course prefer to choose lighter colors if this uh, was not uh, pink but let's say uh, brown uh, not brown of course I wouldn't change it if <laughs> it was brown but uh, let's say uh, green or red or something darker uh, I don't even uh, speak about the black of course it would be hard because all these are dye inks and dye ink is always transparent so of course uh, the ideal if you really want the absolutely uh, definitely want a Harmony Chewix you're not happy with color take the, uh, the the color choice I mean take uh, the lightest color like white there is always white or something like a really really um, light uh, uh, yellow or something like this and then of course the result of uh, ink painting will be uh, much better than uh, if it was uh, uh, a dark color at the beginning okay so this is remember this this is quite important okay so this is it for this video thank you very much and see you next week bye bye